I'm going to try to show you how to do some basic graphing stuff. So uh, I'm in a graph page. And the first function I want to graph is uh, x over 5 plus, whoops, it's a weird thing that it does. When you're in a template, it bounces you out. So x over 5 plus 3. So the way I got back to that was I hit tab a lot. But hit that, uh, I press tab to get back to the uh, entry line. I'm going to graph uh, square root of 100 minus x squared. Okay, so I have two graphs, and you can see they're in different colors because this is the uh, cx. And I'm going to graph, so I hit tab to get that back again, x squared um, over 5. I'm going to arrow to the right to get out of it this time, and then minus 3. Okay, so now I have three graphs. Um, you can see I can't really see the intersection points of graph 3 and graph 2. Um, kind of a problem, because um, what I want to do now is try to find uh, the intersections of those. So what I'm going to do is insert another graphs page, and on this page you can see I'm on F4. That's because my previous graphs are still there. So I'm going to regraph that, press tab, go up and regraph that. Now I need to change my window. So uh, I'm going to go to menu, and window, and settings, and I need more Y values. So I'm going to do, uh, I don't know, negative 15 to 15, uh, negative 6, that's fine, I don't really need more, and then uh, maybe go up to 20. Alright, now I can see everything. Uh, doesn't look all that good, but it uh, doesn't really matter because I'm just looking for intersections. So what I do is, um, I go to menu, analyze graph, intersection, lower bound to the upper bound. If there's more than two graphs, uh, it's going to ask you to pick. So a good thing to do is just always uh, start a new window, make sure you only have two, then you don't have to deal with that particular issue. Uh, to the left and then to the right, and I'm clicking each time. And so I can see those are uh, the intersection points. And now what I'm going to try to do is find the um, zeros of F3 here, so again, uh, another way to do this is you can press the home key and then uh, arrow down to uh, graphs, get that. So I wanted the, the zeros of this, so I graph it again, press menu, go to analyze graph, I want the zero to the left, to the right, menu, analyze graph, zero to the left and to the right, and uh, that's about what I wanted to do. Uh, I guess uh, I'll add one more. And let's see. Whoops. Let me go up here. Uh, and one of the things you can do is you can trace. I don't really recommend it. Uh, graph trace. And then uh, what you can do is you can punch in values. So if I want to know the value at 2.3, it'll bounce there. And then 3.6 and so on. And sometimes that's useful, I guess, if you already have something in your function and you want to just find some values but uh, you're never going to use that to find intersections or maximums or minimums anything like that uh, I guess I could show you how to do that um, although they're pretty self-explanatory for these so let's see insert graph uh, let me do uh, x times x minus 2 times x minus, or let's say plus 3, and I'm going to resize my window, there, I'll just find this minimum, menu, analyze graph, it's a minimum, I have to be a little to the left of it, a little to the right of it, minimum shows up, I'm going to uh, click and drag so I can actually see it, and uh, it found the minimum for me, maximum works the same way, so uh, those are some of the very basics of graphing. I hope this is uh, helpful, and uh, good luck.